Rob versus Syrup the Ness. I actually haven't seen these guys play, but this is going to you know be what? an I know awesome that, set. I know they've both been at Fusions before. I don't know if they've both played each other. So someone, will, I'm sure, will correct me in the comment section uh, later if I'm wrong on this. But listen, Syrup, again, one of the uh, – has been making waves, uh, you know, since offline has come back. Definitely not just a one-trick Wi-Fi pony. Uh, racking up a lot of solid wins. And definitely something to look for against Syrup is that, you know, in neutral, things might look, you know, a little slow sometimes. Zero's punish game is absolutely unmatched. Yeah. He knows if, if he gets the one hit on you, uh, regardless of what it is, he knows every single tree out of every single scenario. The office flow chart is very strong for right. Zero. But what does the flow chart have an answer for for Zamba? Because I feel like Zamba is definitely the uh, you know uh, the X factor in most matchups uh, for, for people. Wow. And you know, one of the things I want to say is also it, it was evidenced more by like his set with uh, Sinji and I'm sure we'll see it here, is that Syrup's spacing is really, really good. Yeah. Like, and for me to give a Ness, Ness a general, as a character, a compliment, <laughs> like, this character, he's so good with this character. Like, his spacing is godlike. So, I mean, Rob, though, Rob's that guy. He's like, you know what? I don't care how you're spacing. You're gonna have to space around this gyro, picking up this laser. Yeah, this is a matchup on paper where you'd imagine it's not bad for Ness because, again, Rob, big character, a uh, huge body. Rob with a lot of, uh, you know, less with a lot of combo strings. But also, Rob, uh, very explosive and uh, very uh, good at, you know, killing these smaller, lighter characters. The thing about this, the thing that we're seeing here is that, you know, if you're floaty, it, you just have a horrible time against Rob at disadvantage. Yep. Like, Rob gets to whiff, like, five moves and still frame trap you before you could land. I mean, this is really tough for Syrup. He's really going to have to figure out a way to, like, change his spacing or change his, his game in the air so that he's not just, like, whiffing a move and getting immediately zero to death by, uh, by Rob. Ooh, okay, avoiding the PK uh, Rockin, uh, but not going to get a huge follow-up on it is Zamba. Syrup trying to get on the board here, but Zamba, doing, like you mentioned, Glenn, doing such a great job, you know, uh, you know, making sure that when Ness gets hit in the air that uh, he does not uh, land without taking a plethora of damage first. Yeah, I mean, this is this is really... Wow, okay, the back throw killing, but he's still down by a lot. I mean, this, this is basically last hit. If he gets grabbed by Rob at this percent, he is likely to die. And if he doesn't, he will die from the next grab, guaranteed. Yeah, you see her, you can play it from inside out, but again... Seeing, seeing Ness have to play anti-grab, kind of hype. <laughs> <laughs> a little weird. Definitely a whole shoes on the other foot type scenario, for sure. Ness is definitely like, this is what I've been doing to people? Like, <laughs> grabbing is broken. <laughs> Definitely taking a long, hard look in the mirror uh, after this set for sure. Ooh. Oh, but uh, if you see now, good. That was actually really good SDI by by Zamba because if he did not SDI to that PK fire, which is also really hard to do as Rob, he would have died. And then he died edge guarding syrup. But obviously, when the rocket connects, if it hits somebody, it lowers how how far believe, yeah, his it rocket will go. It, it cuts yeah. in half. So, so sometimes, great awareness from Zamba there. He's like, it's actually worth it for me to get hit by this because he's not going to recover from this distance. Yep, again, force him to recover Check it low. Out. And at this point, it's just basic basic math. Th that's the Rob from from <laughs> uh, from Subspace Emissary that sacrificed himself. That was him right there. That was that Rob. I mean, the one that's a leader of a of The a one cult. that, that, that like, opened the bomb and was like, oh, this is evil. I'm going to just blow up with this bomb. And save the Nintendo characters. That part of Subspace is just the ending of iRobot. <laughs> like, just saying. Someone posted a clip of the Subspace, uh, 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 like, moment where you see all the Robs, and they're, like, all evil, and they were like, this was a foreshadowing Ultimate. Where there's <laughs> oh, an army of Robs that you're going to have to deal with. That's the meta of Ultimate. Yeah, I love that even Super Smash Brothers couldn't even avoid the robot apocalypse. Yeah. Hollywood's been writing that story for years, and even Smash is like, yeah, we can get in on this. <laughs> All right, so we're in Smashville for this game two. Um, looking very much like game one. I mean, again, this is one of those things where if you could challenge Ness in the air, I mean, you just have it made. And Syrup is like, uh, this character is very floaty. Syrup's having a really hard time landing. Yeah, like again, like you mentioned, you know, being a floaty character, Ness is a lot like a beach ball. You know, you kind of just want to keep them uh, yeah, <laughs> in the air as yikes. much as possible. Yeah, that was that was a whole lot of yikes as the up smash. We'll connect right there. So Zamba looking uh, awfully solid here, but uh, Syrup continuing to uh, to apply pressure right here. Whoever's gonna have center uh, stage on, and under that platform is gonna be in for a load of uh, good fortune. All right, Syrup throwing off stage. Can he keep Zamba in disadvantage while he takes the snake rope and goes all the way up there? And it didn't work out. 
I mean, Zamba to, to, to turn, turn that thing around. One of the things that people talk about a lot with Rob is like, oh, you know, he's big, so his disadvantage. I'm like, if you really pay attention to it, he has a lot. He has maybe more offensive options in disadvantage than a lot of other characters. Yeah. And so it, it's sometimes it's really difficult for you as the player. Great. Yeah. PK yeah. Thunder to up air there from uh, Syrup. Closing out that stock. Now this doesn't look so... Doesn't look so lopsided. Definitely not a replay of game one. Yeah, and listen, you can definitely see a scenario here where, you know, Syrup gets the right uh, punish string, like we mentioned. Uh, he's proven he's very, very solid at, uh, you know, converting on that. But Zamba riding the ship right now. Going to connect with the up tilt to the upper, but not going to be enough uh, to kill just yet. Yeah, what we're seeing a lot of is that you see that... that um, Syrup is playing a game where he's he's not grounded, I think, because of the threat of the gyro. But he's like, he's finding himself like drifting in when he's in disadvantage a lot, and it's it's making things worse. A lot of times that he got hit, it was him trying to like get out of disadvantage by drifting in. And now can he close the stock out? I mean, he has the PK Thunder is a great tool against Rob going super high. Yeah, no, for very sure. smart idea from Syrup. Yeah, Syrup definitely has tools that other characters aren't very privy to. You know, to be able to hit Rob when he's kind of hanging out in the uh, the top last zone like that. And, you know, despite that, keeping it very close to Zamba. Zamba not even trying to challenge that PK Rocket, just opting to uh, ledge trap instead. Oh, and this is a fair. Oh, wow. yeah. Wow. Yeah, this dip. Um, you know, the gyro proving to be a real menace uh, for, Z uh, for a Syrup when they're trying to recover, as you saw right there, you know, uh, dropping the a little bit too low. Yeah. Sometimes oh, the only thing to fear is fear itself and a giant metal top. Man, and Zamba's just ha not having any of these problems that Syrup has. Syrup is having to really think hard about how he recovers. And I mean, Rob, look what he's doing. He's been in the air for like 30 seconds. He's still going to make it back. Yeah. Okay, no, he's not. Yeah, ran Jeez. out of gas, unfortunately. But listen, if you're Syrup, you definitely uh, are <laughs> not uh, you know upset about that scenario at all as you are now in a last stock situation. And uh, on winner's bracket uh, point right here as we were playing best of three in uh, semifinals right now. You know, it's interesting. It feels like Zamba's doing so well, but I look at the stock count and the pet percentage. It's really not that bad. It's This is actually very, very doable for Syrup still. Oh, this might be big. Yeah, like I mentioned, look at that. That did so much Using damage. the magnet to just turn that situation around and getting a lot out of it. Now it's damn near even. This could be it. Can he? He won't go off stage. Yeah, okay, gonna, once again, get nicked by the PK Thunder on the way down. Oh my gosh. These PK Thunders are brilliant. Yeah, no, uh, Syrup's definitely uh, woken up his last game here as we see uh, Rob being such a big character, Glenn, having a hard time getting around the PK Thunders. Uh-oh, I mean, and that's a stock. Great call yeah. out there. He just called out the jump knowing Zamba was going to go high again. He's like, all right, you want to go the snake route? I'm going to hit you with this Nikita, bro. <laughs> Here's this Nikita. Yep. PK Nikita. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure there's rocket launchers on Earthbound. I don't know. Someone will correct me in chat if I'm wrong. They all all I know is that Ness's dad is a phone. So <laughs> this guy is definitely not hyped, all right? He His definitely has some trauma fake. that he's taken out here on this robot. <laughs> all right, you see the bands on our screen right now. It looks like uh, Stadium 2 and Kalos. Syrup always looks here. so calm, man. Like, every time I see him, like, he'll be, like, game five last hit in a tournament. Or right now he's at a game three that's very, very close. He looks like he's a big chilling. He's a being a kid, right? Kids aren't afraid of anything, man. <laughs> like, <Yeah>. you know. <laughs> All right. And this game three on small battlefield to the Legend of Zelda theme. Very appropriate for Rob and Ness to be yeah. fighting. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Rob is definitely uh, has, has guardian energy. And Ness is, uh, I don't know, an NPC. So. Uh, Rob is a guardian. That's yeah. hilarious. That is funny. Yeah. He's got the laser. He's got, you know, the doom. The guardians are, they, they're green, all right? They're, they've gone green. This guy runs on fossil fuels, man. <laughs> this is so... Oh God, Rob is so cringe, man. <laughs> all right, let's see if the, uh, you know, what adjustments Zamba can make here. Again, uh, the high recovery definitely was not, uh, you know, Zamba's friend in that last game. So let's see if maybe you see a little bit more of a grounded approach when in disadvantage, trying to just get uh, reset back to the ledge, uh, you know, to avoid that extra damage you get tacked oh, on. Oh, wow. Great catch there, using the Nair to catch the gyro. And it, one of the great things about this matchup, like, if you're really good with the gyro, that's very scary for Rob because it is very hard. Again, his body is huge. So if you're good with the gyro, you can actually really do a lot with it. All right. Okay, almost getting hit by the up air right there. Ooh. Oh, oh, this is going to be tough. So is scary. he going to get off this ledge? And he is. 
That should not going to be enough, but again, despite the, the you know the initial air dodge, Zamba has uh, always gotten hit by the uh, the follow-up hit of PK Thunder. However, able to get back down to the ledge here. Ooh. There we go, wow. the PK Magnet to the up air. Again, Rob being such a taller character, that's going to work to a lot higher uh, percent. But Zamba evening things up with the EX uh, side B. And, yeah, uh, we're using his super right yeah. there, working out. I mean, one of the things that I think Zamba needs to adjust here is that clearly the strategy of going high is not working anymore, and it's why he's down this, why he was down this game a second ago. So let's see if he just adjusts and starts going to the ledge. We'll see. I mean, obviously Ness is really good at the ledge, so we'll yep, see what happens. Yep. Here we go, Syrup getting a triple fair combo right there. It's going to be good damage. I mean, we haven't seen a lot of the PK flash, but uh, yeah, that is a move that uh, Syrup is not afraid to use, especially as a combo... Uh, you know, extender. Man, his Syrup's doing such a great job. Right now, he has Zamba on the ropes. He can feel it. And he's, like, calling out the rolls and the jumps. Like, he's calling out the defensive options. Zamba's a little scared here. Yeah, but Zamba... Even though it's not that bad. It, yeah. But it, he, he, I feel like he's playing a lot more scared because he's afraid of getting juggled by that Nikita again. Oh! And getting called out. You can't grab shield, grab that back air. That was crazy. And the fact that he didn't die to that either was insane. As falling out of the last hit of the up air, too, that definitely would have killed... If that connected for Syrup, but let's see if Zamba can, you know, get to the add the second lead. Oh, oh my god. Look at I mean, a second ago, these like jump in, drift in combo drift into to Rob like scenarios were not working out for him, but I, I feel like he has he's in Zamba's head a little bit. That was a really ballsy, like Zamba had a lot of time to react to that and he just fell for it. Yes, yeah, so let's see what uh, what's gonna happen here in this last stock scenarios. Again, Zamba doing a good job not letting the lead uh, get too big for him. So definitely, uh, well within within arms reach here for both players. No oh, way. Oh no, this is this is very scary for Ness. <gasps> Can he recover? Yes, he does. It's his turn to ledge trap, and that's oh, gonna no. be the stock. Oh, battlefield, small battlefield saving Zamba on any other stage, he would have died. Almost any other stage in the game, he would have been done. Uh oh. Oh my God. This is very scary. Can again. Ness land? He already used his double jump. His resources are low. Good use of Nair to get out of that. Ooh, again, Nair once again being the <laughs> ultimate bailout tool uh, for Syrup. Getting the parry on Rob's Nair, that is so Ooh, huge, especially in these last hit scenarios. Staling that back throw. I don't know if that was, that might cost him the set if he goes for another one and Rob does not die. Goes for the forward throw. Out for the high recovery. Shoots the gyro in his face. Uh-oh. And this is Zamba's game to, there, there it is. Wow. The down air. The like, two frame. I didn't even two frame. He just hit him before he could yeah. even get near it. I was going to say, that was just something we haven't seen the entirety of that uh, that set. You know, there were scenarios where, uh, you know, Syrup was recovering, you know, forced to recover low. And, you know, Zamba did not do the you know, the down air. But, yep. Get <laughs> <laughs> this is like the one time where that move actually lined up and it makes sense yeah. that it worked. And okay, there are plenty of clips where someone's literally like next to Rob. Like yep. they literally ha shaking his hand from the side and he still B -b gets a spike. Gee, geez, my friend. Burn this fossil yeah. fuel we right just in your rocket. face, bro. Rockets explode. Oh, boy. So excellent stuff right there from Zamba. Again, very close set fought between, you know, uh, two of, uh, you know, players that are uh, writing their own story as we get into a post-quarantine yeah, world Definitely some, some greenhorns. Yeah.